the biggest football game in world football is upon us. I'm talking about the El Clasico, the biggest match in Spanish football. Barcelona Football Club will be hosting Real Madrid, a game that is uh, potentially a tie to the cider. Barcelona are 35 points, topping the log, but of course tied on point with Real Madrid, who are also on 35 points. Barcelona have lost three games so far, while Real Madrid have lost just one. And of course, both teams are looking very good so far, uh, but after one or two hiccups here and there. Real Madrid have got Karim Benzema to look up to, and of course, Barcelona have got the best player in the world, and of course, arguably the greatest player in history, Lionel Messi, to look up to. Messi and Benzema are also, you know, gunning for the top scorers chart in the La Liga. Messi has got 12 goals. Benzema has also 12 goals. And of course, Messi with six assists, Benzema with five. So a very close contest by both players and of course, both teams. Like I said, top on the log, both of them tied on same point. Real Madrid have considered um, less goals than Barcelona, eight goals less than Barcelona. Why Real Madrid, I mean Barcelona have scored more goals, 10 goals more than Real Madrid. So you look at all of the you know, indices, it's a very close contest. It is delicately poised. Now let's look at both teams, what they're going to bring you know, to the table. Real Madrid are going to be missing a keep a, a, I mean, a couple of players, Marcelo, uh, Edin Hazard. Uh, these are very, you know, important players, especially Edin Hazard. Of course, he's yet to really pick up in Spain. So Real Madrid may not really miss him when you look at how he's been able to, how he struggled in the La Liga. Why Barcelona are going to be missing Otto, Dembele, uh, two of the main players, of course, that will be missing for FC Barcelona. For both coaches, Ernesto Valverde and Zinedine Zidane, this is a game that would mean a lot to them because they want to prove that they've got a team that can cope against big opponents in big games. So let's, 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 let's look at both teams in terms of how they approach this game tactically. Benzema will be leading the line for Real Madrid. And of course, for Barcelona, you have Messi, you have uh, Antoine Griezmann, and of course... Louis Suarez, they call it the MSG, <laughs> a, a partnership that is uh, beginning to really find its ointment. For Real Madrid, there's Isco, there's Rodrigo, and there's Karim Benzema. You know, this triumvirate, um, not as efficient as Messi, Griezmann, and Benzema, but they've also got something to offer. Like I said, Real Madrid have got a better defense. They've considered eight goals less than Barcelona. But on the other hand, Barcelona have got a more efficient attack with 10 goals more than Real, who has 33 goals, while Barcelona have scored 43 goals. Now, let's look at um, the prediction. What would you, where would you put your smart money? Um, as a punter, where would you go in terms of staking? Uh, let's look at these uh, factors. Uh, Lionel Messi has been the most effective player in the El Clasico history. He's the all-time leading goal scorer in the El Clasico. He's got 26 goals in all competitions in El Clasico. Um, in 41 games, he's got 26 goals and about 12 assists. And he's always very pivotal for Barcelona in this kind of game. So, um, and of course, Barcelona... I mean, I've gotten the better of uh, Real Madrid in recent times in the El Clasico. And Barcelona are leading the, the, uh, the table, at top of the table in the La Liga. But of course, there's no difference between them and Real Madrid. They say they just like the difference between six and half a dozen. <laughs> so uh, it's going to be a keenly contested one. But Barcelona are playing at the no camp uh, where they are very, very difficult to beat. And when you look at all of that, you want to put your money on Barcelona to win. On that note, I'm going for a Barcelona win. A 2-1 win for Barcelona at an odd of 
let's say 2.5 a 2 1 win for barcelona at an odd of 2.5 plus over 2.5 and of course lan and messi to score 